Hey YouTube, what's up here? Aries and Amorta. You're on the Aries and Amorta channel. I just took a dab fatter than your mother-in-law's Aunt Gerald Ger Geraldine from Mississippi. But uh, <clears throat> I'm here today to chill out on my Nissan 200SX, Lucy 2.0. Now I own the title of this car. And before I get into more of this, I want to make sure that if you're watching this video, just know that you got to own the title of your car for you're fucking doing this. Um, you know, otherwise it's illegal. And that's not what I'm here to teach you about. I'm here to teach you about how to <clears throat> how to start your car without a key if you've got a Nissan from the 90s. Uh, this mine specifically is a Nissan 200SX 1996. Uh, so that's the model we're working with here today. But the concept is the same for pretty much most 90s ignition lock cylinder uh, cars. Uh, honestly, <laughs> just just learned this from a movie that not many people have seen apparently. The old Godzilla movie. But uh, all we're going to do is you only need a screwdriver, a flathead. And a hammer and again this is for educational purposes only like if you lost your keys and you can't find them a tow truck costs 250 dollars and it's gonna be like 140 at least to have a key come and made for you so like some people just don't got the cheddar i don't got that cheddar all the time and you need it's an emergency like this is an emergency only kind of thing so anyway we're gonna get to it i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera over now see if i can even do that nope gonna do this the hard way so right up in here what you're gonna need to do is remove the steering column which I don't really have those parts they're already moved they're thrown in the back it's gonna be four screws under here you can find them with your eyes <clears throat> you just pull these off and then pull the top part off it's gonna pull, it take some pulling and tearing then there's gonna be a silver piece and you're gonna need to pry that off with the screwdriver and, ex and expose the locking resident. Whatever way you can get to it, dig it in. Like, you're ruining it. You're not going to need it anymore. And what you're going to need to find is this thing right here. This guy right here. What you're going to end up with, with once you ram the screwdriver, you're going to ram the, the screwdriver into the lock cylinder. The hole. Let's see if we can get this right. As you can see right here, you're going to ram your key into that, that key slot once that silver cap is off. It's somewhere around here. It's in pieces. It's in little bitty chunks because we use the 16 ounce pan hammer, which, you know, if that's all you need. And then essentially, you stick her right, right in there. She'll fit just like a key. There you go. That's how you start your, that's how you start your car without a key. Don't use this unless it's your car, or you'll probably end up in jail. Guaranteed. Uh, this is educational purposes only. Don't use my video to break the law. Uh, don't credit me if you do, I should say. Um, <laughs> Aries and Immortal out. Much love, much peace. No fear. Stay woke. Stay shrifty. Don't get lost out of your car. Much love. And don't lose your fucking key. Just don't do that, actually. That would be the easier solution to all of us. Don't lose your key, but life happens. Sometimes you get a little drunk at the bar. Hey, anyway, much love. Stay swifty. 